Oh, yeah. I'm Johnny, and it's time to burn the man. A lot of my friends have already gone out to that thing in the desert, Burning Man. There seems to be a lot of negativity around Burning Man these days. There always has been, but it seems to be getting bigger and bigger. It's not as cool as it used to be. Which, I mean, granted, I I can see that. I can kind of accept that. But there's still nothing quite like it. And even though it is changing and will always change, and that's part of what it is, is always changing, there's still something about it that was and I hope still is special. And I hope that regardless of the changes that happen, regardless of the problems, that we don't lose sight of what I think is one of the fundamental properties of a temporary autonomous zone, and that is the sense of community. And you can find that in Burning Man, and you can find it in that in Gish West, and you can find it in other Tazes. It's not just the ability for you to do whatever the hell you want, but also to do whatever the hell you want within a community of like-minded individuals. That is somehow important and somehow very integral to the whole Taz experience. Shit. If you just want to have a Taz in, like, in your basement, uh, just like you and a uh, bucket of potato chips and ice cream together even it's your autonomous zone then that's great but there's nothing to that there's nothing special about that it's that when you can combine other individuals that stuff starts to get real so while burning man is in the press i'm just going to take this opportunity to again point at my wonderful wife shell's project this one time at burning man she just finished the trailer so links are down in the doobly doo Go check it out. It's going to be awesome. Check it out. Episode one. Fantastic. And hey, guess who did the music? That's right. Johnny. And of course, the moment you've all been waiting for. Tips for single guys from Justine. Don't put on that fedora. It looks fucking ridiculous. Doing the music and the audio production on this uh, was actually a bit of a challenge because the microphone that we got was basically awful and we recorded it on the way to Vancouver in the car and that meant that the quality was just total shite. So figuring out how to somehow add bass frequencies back into Shell's voice from this super tinny microphone was a real challenge. It's all about the saturators. I talked about it in a previous video. The solenoid fold is really quite magical. If you have a the Ableton, you need to check out the solenoid fold wave shaper on the saturator, and it can add so much to your bass. It's, it's magic. I have no other words for it. It's bloody magic. Don't forget, kids, wooden effigies in the desert are still pretty fun.